hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel where we live love laugh and learn if it is your first time you're not late for the party and if it's not your first time i see you i see your likes i see your comment i see your engagement thank you thank you for your support i really really do appreciate you so before we go any further i would like to introduce you to our kenyan flag so ladies and gentlemen welcome to the beautiful flag of the republic of kenya so let's start the color black black represents our skin color that's why it's there there is white for peace we are very peaceful peaceful people despite having more than 42 tribes in kenya we coexist with each other peacefully and then the red is the price that we had to pay that our forefathers had to pay the bloodshed during independence when they were fighting for our independence from the british or the colonialists and then the green represents the fruitfulness the richness of our land kenya our land is very fertile we are farmers and the land is so rich and that's what green represents the whole thing as you can see is a shield and then there's another shield inside it symbolizes protection basically it's an assurance from our country that we are protected so when our forefathers used to go fighting or hunting or gathering they would carry a shield that's what you're seeing inside there and outside here and the arrows basically to protect themselves to protect their families and to bring food home so let's get into this the kenyan tag i'm gonna be reading questions and answering them the first question what is your kenyan name my kenyan name which is also my middle name is mora so mora the people here have been calling me mora it's not mora it's mora and when i go to my fatherland which is in kisi they call it mora they call me mora so that is my middle name mora what is your ethnicity or your tribe so by 2009 kenya had 42 tribes apparently right now it's been found that it's more than 42 tribes what is my tribe my father is kisi my mom is kikuyu traditionally we have to identify with our father's tribe so i identify as a kisi so my father is a kisi from nyamira county a county is like a city in kenya so we, uh, my dad comes from nyamira county my mom comes from Moranga County. So I'm half Kisi, I'm half Kikuyu, but if you ask me, I'll say I'm a Kisi because in Kenya we identify with our fathers. Traditionally and many other tribes in Kenya actually identify from the father's side. What is your favorite Kenyan food? My favorite Kenyan food is chapati and kukukienyeji. Chapati is basically fried flat bread. Looks like tortilla kind of and then you fry it using cooking oil on a pan and it is delicious now with kuku kenyeji kuku kenyeji is free range chicken not grated not kept it's a free range chicken and it's very delicious if you've seen my other videos previously you've seen me making kuku kenyeji stew and i was so excited that day because it's my favorite and it had taken me forever to get kuku kenyeji here where i stay so yeah my favorite is chapati and kuku kenyeji followed by ugali sukuma sukuma wiki and nyamayambuzi those are my top two favorites and of course i love food so i can go on and on and on and um, i'm just salivating just from talking about chapati and kuku kenyeji do you speak any kenyan languages yes i speak kenyan languages first of all i speak english from kenyan grew up speaking english which is one of our national languages no we don't learn english from the airport after we've landed we learn english from our households back in kenya i speak english as you can hear me i speak swahili abari gani mzuri abari mzuri and then i speak kisi that is my dad's language mbuyamore muensi wakire wia wairire wia mbuyamono that is my dad's language it sounds lovely right i also speak my mom's language which is kikuyu that is my mom's language i tried i tried don't come for me but yeah i speak it though not super proficiently but yes i speak my mom's language and of course i speak other kenyan languages um i speak luo these are not proficient let me just give you a glimpse of other languages that i speak i speak luo Oyaore, idinade, idimabere. What else? Chamigami sing, 
Chamige. Chamige missing. Um, that is Kipsigis. I also speak um, Taita. Mana. Manato. <laughs> what else do I speak? Okay, that's enough for me. Linguicism. Who are your favorite musicians? When it comes to gospel music, my favorite is Janet Otieno. Go check her out. That woman, when she sings, she just touches your soul. You know, she's just a blessing. She just has this super talent. You just feel that. You know, she's really good. Go check her out. There's this song that she sang with Christina Shusho. Wakati ni huu, wakubarikiwa. Something like that. Wakati ni huu, wakubarikiwa. Nimechoshwa na shida za dunia na poke ya kwako. Yeah, so that is Janet Otieno. And then there's Rington. This guy is crazy. I know he's crazy. He's full of drama. But when this guy decides to sing, he can sing very good music. He has also sung with Christina Shusho and I think with... um. Yeah, so he, he when he decides to sing, he sings some really good music. Guys, if you have not checked Rington, y'all, go check him. Go check him out. He can really touch your soul, actually, when he's not full of all this uh, BS. I'm sorry to say that. He has sung this song with Gloria Muliro. It's called um, Watch Aiwe. Vile anataka iwe, nananana iwe, nananana iwe. And then he's also sang this song uh, with uh, Christina Shusho. I can be a musician. These days everyone is singing. I think I can go to the studio. Anyway, who are your favorite local musicians? So guys, Kunoyuki Jana and it was Trio Mio. He's like a small boy, a high schooler in Kenya. This boy can speak rhymes. Just for your records, just for the records, I love Kenyan Gengeton, I love Kenyan rap. So definitely the top musicians are going to be Kenyan Gengeton artists. I don't know if they call it Gengeton anymore, but yes, I just lo love when they're spitting rhymes. So this Trio Mio, check him out. There's Major Genge, he's good. You put Major in your video, you're set to go. You're set to get all those views and all those mula because he's really good. King Kaka, he is the god. He is the god. He's just another lyrical genius. I just loved him from this song that he sang with uh, uh, with Amos and Josh. Tutaonana Badai. Tutaonana Badai. I just loved him and since then, he's just one of my favorites. Though he's been going through some uh, sickness. But I think now he's good. When it comes to musicians, like really singing, definitely I love Saudi Soul. And I also love this girl called Nikita Kering. She's also, she wasn't so well known until she won recently. She just won an Afrima award, I guess, an African award. And that's when people started recognizing her. But this lady, this girl, she's called Nikita Kering. Some young girl, very beautiful young girl, but she can sing. So please go check her out. And, and also let me know in the comments below, who else should I be listening to? You know, what do I love about my country i love a lot about kenya kenya is a beautiful country kenya is full of resources kenya is full of potential kenya is just peaceful the people are lovely the people are peaceful the people are friendly they are very welcoming i just love kenya kenya is home i don't have enough words to just describe how i love kenya Kenyan president. Our president is called His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. He is the son of our founding father, Mze Jomo Kenyatta. So our first president was Jomo Kenyatta, and now his son is our current president. So father and son have ruled Kenya since uh, we gained our independence. So his father was Jomo Kenyatta. He's His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. What can I change about Kenya? If I was to change something about Kenya, the insecurity, as much as Kenya is a beautiful country, and this is not to scare you, as long as you know where to be and what to do and where to be, as long as you're at the right place at the right time, I would, I would really want to see something being done about the insecurity because the crime rates and the insecurity, especially in the CBDs or in the cities, it's alarming. And, and unfortunately, a lot of actions are not taken or justice is not served to the end so there's insecurity and there's also corruption corruption is rife it is just 
something else. It's just mind blowing the corruption in Kenya. You have to like lazima usafishe roho ya mtu ndio upate kitu lazima usafishe mkono. Unajua ile kitu kitu kidogo ya macho and I I don't know. I hope that can change. Toa kitu kidogo. Hizo ni mavitu za kitambo, hizo ni mavitu za those days that tene and I don't know why it's still happening right now. So if I could just change those two things about Kenya then it will just be a perfect country. At the end of the day, it's Kenya my home. I have hope for Kenya and I have hope that the leaders that we are electing this year are going to bring a difference. So please, when you go to that ballot box, make sure you make wise decisions because we really need to see change. You know, we really need to see change. I know these guys will come with all these manifestos. Now, let me preach. These guys will come with all these manifestos. They will come with all these lies. They'll come with all these pesa kidogo kidogo wanarushia watu and then but please think about these things we need to see action being taken especially on security and corruption enough said mr president one day i know you'll watch this i hope yeah upcoming incoming president i know one day you'll see this please do something it's a concern do you own anything kenyan yes i own a lot of Kenyan things in my house that shield. I'm wearing a Kenyan bracelet, of course, with a beautiful flag. And then I have this beautiful stool that I got from Kenya. This stool, it is a stool. Those are just a few of the many that I own, Kenyan stuff that I own. Favorite Kenyan comedians. I love Crazy Kenna. Crazy Kenna cracks my ribs. Guys, if you've not seen Crazy Kenna, together with his counterparts, his friends, there's Stanley Omondi, and there's also this other guy called Useful Idioti. He never runs out of content. He calls himself the content cartel, and yeah, he deserves that title. I also love this uh, guy called DJ Shiti. DJ Shiti can, you know, he's just a uh, subtle. He doesn't really struggle, but he just cracks my ribs. He makes me laugh. I know right now he's going through some crazy, crazy drama that I had that I don't know. I don't know about it i know he's going through some funny drama but dj shitty you make me laugh and i don't think that will change you know i just love your comedy i also love mamito mamito is just funny she doesn't try but she's just funny just thinking about her makes me want to laugh mamito i love you you're just so funny if somebody visits kenya what should they carry along the artifacts kenyans are talented people there are very different markets that you can actually visit. This is the famous karaoke market. You, you, you're you going to buy a lot of handicrafts. Promote our people. They are very talented. You know, things like this, things like the stools that I've just showed you, things like my bracelets. That's where you're going to get them. Don't leave Kenya without these very nice souvenirs, you know. And you're going to have something to remind you about the beautiful experience that you've had for the rest of your life. So I'm just going to show you a few of the artifacts that you can get. These are carvings. These are made in Kenya. Very beautiful. This is how talented Kenyans are. How beautiful is that? That is a cheetah. Yeah, see how beautiful that is. There's that. There's that. There's that. In some case, it has um elephants drawn on it a pencil stand where you place your pencils and then there's also this other carving of a giraffe so guys that's all i had today for you i hope you've enjoyed my kenyan tag don't forget to subscribe click on that notification bell i love you and bye